The concept of a space elevator has long captured the imagination of scientists, engineers and dreamers alike. This revolutionary idea envisions a structure that would transport people and cargo from Earth to space without the need for rockets, dramatically reducing the cost and complexity of reaching orbit. Theoretically, a space elevator would consist of a cable anchored to Earth's surface and extending upward beyond geostationary orbit, with vehicles called climbers traveling along it to deliver payloads to space. While the vision is captivating, the practical challenges, costs, and technical hurdles make it one of the most ambitious engineering feats humanity could ever attempt. At its core, a space elevator would rely on an incredibly strong and lightweight cable capable of withstanding immense forces. The cable would need to stretch from a ground station, ideally near the equator, into space where it would be counterbalanced by a massive weight, such as a satellite or asteroid. This setup ensures the cable remains taut due to the competing forces of Earth's gravity pulling it downward and centrifugal force pulling it outward. Vehicles equipped with motorized climbers would ascend and descend the cable, transporting cargo, passengers or both. In theory, this system could reduce the cost of sending material to space from thousands of dollars per kilogram to just a fraction of that amount. However, the challenges in building such a structure are monumental. One of the most significant obstacles is the material required for the cable. No material currently exists that is both strong and light enough to support its own weight over such an immense distance while withstanding the stress of Earth's gravity and other environmental factors. Carbon nanotubes and graphene have often been cited as potential materials having shown promise in laboratory settings, but scaling them up to the necessary length and strength remains a distant goal. To put it in perspective, the cable would need to be tens of thousands of kilometers long and endure not only gravitational forces, but also the potential impact of micrometeoroids, radiation and extreme weather conditions. Another significant challenge lies in the construction process. Launching and assembling a cable of this magnitude in orbit is a logistical nightmare. Even if the material issue were resolved, deploying and anchoring such a structure would require unprecedented coordination and technological innovation. The counterweight would need to be carefully positioned to maintain the cable's stability, and the entire system would need constant monitoring to ensure that environmental factors, such as shifts in Earth's rotation or orbital debris, don't compromise its integrity. The cost of building a space elevator would be staggering. Estimates vary widely, but most suggest it would take hundreds of billions of dollars, if not more, to develop the necessary materials, conduct research, and execute construction. While the long-term savings in transportation costs could theoretically justify the investment, convincing governments or private entities to commit to such an expensive and high-risk project is a significant hurdle. Additionally, maintaining the elevator over time would require ongoing investment, as the cable would likely need frequent repairs and replacements due to wear and tear. If these challenges could somehow be overcome, the space elevator would revolutionize space travel. Climbers traveling up the cable would be powered by electricity, likely generated through solar panels or other renewable sources, eliminating the need for chemical rocket fuel. The speed of the ascent would ultimately depend on the climber system design and available and required energy. Most estimates suggest it would take about a week to travel from Earth's surface to geostationary orbit, roughly 36,000 kilometers or about 22,000 miles above the planet. This is significantly slower than a rocket launch, but far more economical and sustainable the experience of riding a space elevator would be unlike anything humanity has ever known. Passengers would likely feel a gentle acceleration at the start of the journey, similar to the feeling of an elevator in a skyscraper, but sustained over a longer period. The transition from Earth's gravity to microgravity would be gradual, giving travelers time to adjust. The view from the climber would be breathtaking, starting with the receding Earth below and transitioning to the vast blackness of space above. For most of the journey, passengers would likely feel a sense of weightlessness, 
especially once the climber reached higher altitudes where Earth's gravitational pull diminishes. Safety would be a paramount concern, and the risks of operating a space elevator would be significant. The cable itself would be the most vulnerable component. A single micrometeoroid strike or orbital debris collision could sever the cable, causing catastrophic consequences for the entire system. The climbers would also need to be equipped with multiple redundancies to ensure the safety of passengers and cargo. In an emergency, passengers might require escape systems, though designing and implementing such systems would pose its own set of challenges. Earthquakes, hurricanes and other natural disasters could also threaten the ground station and the cable's anchor point. Despite these risks, the potential benefits of a space elevator are enormous. By drastically reducing the cost of sending payloads to space, it could enable a new era of exploration, scientific research and economic development. Entire industries could emerge around space tourism, asteroid mining, and the construction of large-scale orbital habitats. The space elevator could also play a crucial role in addressing existential threats, such as diverting asteroids or deploying climate control technologies in space. Critics argue that the technical and financial barriers to building a space elevator make it an unrealistic goal. They suggest that investment in advanced rocket systems such as SpaceX's Starship or alternative technologies such as magnetic railguns or space planes might be more practical and achievable. That a space elevator would create new geopolitical tensions as the nation or corporation that controls the system would hold immense strategic and economic power. Ultimately, the idea of a space elevator reflects humanity's boundless ambition and ingenuity. While the challenges are immense, so too are the potential rewards. Building such a structure would require unprecedented cooperation between nations, groundbreaking technological innovation, and a willingness to take risks on a colossal scale. Whether or not a space elevator ever becomes a reality, the pursuit of this dream pushes the boundaries of what we believe is possible and inspires us to imagine a future where humanity reaches for the stars, not just metaphorically, but literally. We hope you enjoyed our look into the building of a space elevator and invite you back for our next episode.